We all have challenges from time to time when it comes to our art and in this video I just chat around some of the challenges that I've had, some of the things that you can do to overcome those challenges and to recognise what those challenges are and, um, and how to overcome them. How do you push through those really tough parts of your um, of your drawings you know when it gets to the point where you you either lose interest in it or um, you know it's become so frustrating because things aren't quite going to plan how do you keep going um, you know with one piece or because I know some people can give up for months they, they just get so despondent with their work that they can um, you know they they can stop drawing for 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 weeks at a time, um, just because they've, you know they've they've just fallen out of love with what it is that they're doing, and then people find it very hard to get back into things, um, you know and 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 don't feel inspired, um, I have to say it's, well it's not easier but you don't really have a choice when it's a job and you have to feed your children and pay your mortgage um because you you, you what do you do you, i can't just stop drawing if you know so actually in a way it's a, it's a little bit easier if you do it as a job because you don't really have a choice um but if you're doing it as a as a hobby um you know it it's so easy to lose faith and, and lose, uh, you know, inspiration and everything and just stop. Um, and it's, you know, it's a shame because as a hobby, drawing is the most fantastic way of, you know, forgetting all of your troubles. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a really, really good form of mindfulness. And it's um, it, it's just it's just fantastic. But then what happens is you you can run into the issue of yes it's it, you know it's 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 a good form of mindfulness and it's a good form of forgetting all of your troubles but it kind of brings a whole a whole load of new troubles um you know if things don't start if things aren't working as you'd like them to be working then it can start to become actually a really frustrating hobby um you know and, and who wants to do something that that is frustrating so it you know it's about trying to find ways of getting over that frustration so that you can carry on with with the absolute pure joy of drawing um you know and i and i think one of the ways of being able to get over that frustration is is realizing and recognizing that 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 this medium is very very slow um and it goes through a lot of stages where it doesn't look particularly great um you know and as soon as you start to come to terms with that then you can push on through those parts where it's frustrating and and ugly and what have you um and the other thing as well to remember is that you know if you're an artist who's been you know going for some time and you you know you're learning and you're you're you know your your pieces are, are, are good and you're quite confident in what you're doing sometimes that that step up to the next bit of your development um that can have a really really um a tough effect on on people because it's almost like you know you you, you know what you're doing you're confident in what you're doing and then all of a sudden you change things up a little bit try some new techniques um and it's almost like you're back at the beginning again and it's like whoa you know i can't draw or um you know and recognizing that that you're trying new techniques or new paper or new whatever you're just switching things up you're you're developing your style recognizing that, that for what it is in that you know you're 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 stepping out of your comfort zone and you're moving into completely new territory and you are learning new things and you know remembering how long it took you to learn your you know your your current techniques to begin with that then is going to be able to help you get over those stumbling blocks as well um you know because change is hard change is very hard and when you start to change your or learn new things um you know you you do go right back to the beginning um i know i was trying some new paper um and 
I mean, oh, well, I haven't carried on with it because it was just like, which is which is bad, really, because I should have I should have carried on with it. But it was very, very smooth. And I had to use totally and utterly different techniques to be able to get anywhere with it. And oh, my goodness, it was like a five year old had drawn, uh, you know, the, the what I was trying to do. I could not get to grips with it at all. I mean, it was ultra, ultra smooth. Um and and actually I should have I and I well I still should you know persevere really but it's completely different way of drawing um you know to to what I'm doing at the moment um and it's um it's really tough really tough and it's much much easier to give up much easier um you know so I think we all find our comfort zones definitely um but it is good to switch things up and try new things because, you know, learning new stuff, I think, is is brilliant. You know, I'm always wanting to develop and learn, um, but it's um, it's hard. So, you know, if you're if you're getting to the point where you're feeling a little bit despondent with your drawing or you're or you're, you know, you're finding things a little bit tough and, and maybe not not inspired or things aren't working out quite as you hope they would. Well, then, you know, it's a case of, well, having a look at things and thinking, well, why? why? Why am I finding it tough? Is it because it's new to me? And if it's new to you, well, then it's a learning curve. And that's brilliant. Um, you know, you're learning new things. And of course, you're going to find it tough. Um, you know, is it the fact that you're just uh, maybe stuck in a rut? Maybe you need to try something new. You know, there's all these different things. If you just kind of you know talk to yourself and 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 find out why you're feeling how you're feeling about your drawing well then you know you can start to come up with some answers and to build plans so that you can actually get over um you know the the, the issues that you're currently having um you know it's um it's supposed to be a joyous uh, exercise is drawing um and i know, <laughs> know that sometimes it is and sometimes it really isn't um you know so um so finding out what's kind of stopping you and blocking you um is a is a good thing to do and actually chatting whilst you're um drawing um i think has really really helped me um talking through techniques and everything obviously for my for my tutorials and videos and everything has really really helped me to um understand what it is that i'm doing um why i'm doing it and um you know what works and what doesn't work and i think that since i've started videoing um my work has actually improved um i mean i have had some some really good professional critique as well which has has helped incredibly um but i do think talking through what i'm doing has um, has helped significantly um, because it's made me realize actually you know sometimes I do things and there's a reason why I'm doing them um, you know and and it, and it just kind of cements the reasons why I'm doing stuff um, but it also makes me slow down a little bit as well I do have a tendency just to kind of rush a little bit um, and um you know just kind of talking through things has really helped me um slow down a little bit too which is good 